elevator is a human petri dish. It's like standing up in a coat. She's here. I'm a girl. And your boss. And powerful. And rich. And hot. And smart. Cancel sushi with my mother. Oh, and cancel my therapist. I won't be needing it if I'm not having lunch with my mother. Got it. Sorry, darling. I just can't hear you over the loud color of your cheap pants. You look like the attractive yet non-threatening, racially diverse cast of a CW show. What fresh incompetence is this? As I recall, you're big on promises, but not much else. Never call me ma'am. This is not the Old West. My city is under siege. Do you think I would just allow myself to die? The lighthouse technique. Shine your light and let him come to you. And before you know it, he'll be docked in your port. The future is female. We've all read the t-shirts. I reserved a table right on the beach. Oh, great. Maybe the roar of the ocean will drown out the sound of her voice. Or maybe it will just drown her. Or me. Go find me a hero, Kara. My assistant, Kira. Kira! Kara? Kira? Oh, Kira. If you work hard, there might be a window in your future. Kara. Barry's leaving town, and I was going to see him off. OK, tell Mr. Allen to have a good time zipping around in his red outfit. You're safe now, Miss Grant. Thanks, James. I'm guardian. Oh, honey, I can see your eyes right through the slit. Do you really think that I don't know what's going on with you? She won't do that. How do you know that? I can spot the extraordinary pretending to be a nobody in my midst just like that. It's you. I can't I'd be blind without them. I doubt that. You are Supergirl. <sighs> Who told you I was leaving? Little bird. Little plane. Go get him, Supergirl. I'm fresh. You look so much younger than I thought you would. Hmm, so do you. Bloviating narcissist, walking personification of white male privilege. What do they call you, the peroxide avenger? Oh, please. I call her that to her face and worse. If I could legally adopt her, I would. The minute you came in to interview as my assistant, I had an instinct about you, so I scribbled reporter on your resume, and I stuffed it right here in this drawer, and I hired you on the spot. You always have a job with me if you want it. You are not allowed to do the same thing to my assistant, who, by the way, is excellent at her job. I really believe that you can change the world. You are smart and talented and astonishing. And how many more times am I going to have to tell you this for you to accept who you are? If anybody can win this city back, it's you. You, my dear, are on a hero's journey, like Joseph Campbell would say. And yes, you have hit a bit of an obstacle, but you will soar right over it just like I would. You've changed me. And I am not easy to change. And I believe that you can change everyone out there. Drunk at 9 a.m. That's the last time I had breakfast with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I asked out Idris Elba on a date, and he said no. His loss. One time at a party, Paul McCartney swore to me that he and Yoko were the closest of friends. And only because Anderson Cooper dared me to. First, Sandy Bullock steals my bike at spin class. Participating in Martha Stewart's annual Secret Santa. I don't like the Coldplay guy, but ever since they consciously uncoupled, I like Gwynnie more than ever. Call Harrison Ford and tell him that I'm flattered, but once and for all, I do not date older men, especially when they're married. <clears throat> you need to find, find that anger behind the anger. Cupcakes like these, they don't last. They get snatched up and devoured. And if you don't act fast, so will he. All of you are letting your fear guide you, but somebody has to find the courage to stand up even though they're afraid. In order to live, we must keep daring, keep diving. Well, life is long, and you will be many different people before the end. It's not about what you do. It's about whom you love. I know that you inspired them because you inspired me.